we've lived in the last 50, 60 years through most of my life in a world economic system that you helped design and build. You're one of the architects and builders of the, the global system that has produced relative peace and prosperity for 65 years. It seems to be coming apart right now. It seems to be being torn apart. Uh, you've talked about three big forces, demography, technology, governance, as shaping the future. What's the future for the international system that is being pressed by giant forces like that and the politics of Washington today? Well, the politics of Washington is increasingly irrelevant. I think we're seeing the creation of what I call a new federalism, where we say, there's a problem here, and we're people in San Francisco, let's talk about them and solve them ourselves. And for instance, uh, I think one of the big things about the future, people don't realize how powerful it is, is the change in demographics that's going on. All of the major countries have falling fertility and rising longevity. It's sort of being turned upside down. It used to be the case where there was a lot of young people and a few older people, and that affected your retirement systems and everything. Now it's turned different. There are fewer young people, a lot more older people. So you've got to adjust to that. In Russia, China, Germany, Japan, working age populations are declining and certainly aren't going to continue. There are three countries where the fertility and longevity are true, but nevertheless, we're not declining in our working age population. Those three countries are the United States, Canada, and Australia. What do these three countries have in common? We're all immigrant countries. 